What's up everybody and welcome back to the Never Empty Bottle Cocktail Vlog. Uh, today you get a special two for one, so we're doing a Dark and Stormy and a Ten Ricky. Ten Ricky is maybe one of my more favorite names for a drink. That is hilarious, so I figured why not, plus both these drinks, three ingredients. So I figured I'd give you a nice two for one. They're nice, they're simple, they're delicious of course. So let's go ahead and let's get at it. Both th drinks, we're gonna go ahead. I'll do one at a time for you. Just to make it nice and simple, we're gonna fill that bad boy with ice. All right, so for this one, both are gonna require lime juice here, but for this one, we're gonna go an ounce of lime juice. Now, one thing that I've been doing in all my videos that I'm not doing in this one is I am not using a shaker this time. I know, crazy, I love my shaker, but all right, so there's our lime juice. Next, ginger beer, your favorite kind of ginger beer. They're all delicious. I have Barrett's here. I go with Barrett's a lot, actually. And we're just gonna pour over the top. And we're gonna get it just so there's a little bit left to the top. Last thing, we're gonna go two ounces of dark rum. I love Gosling's dark rum. Um, that's the one I usually go with. So we're gonna go two ounces here. Now the trick is that you wanna to get to float here. Dark and stormy, obviously clouds above, so we're gonna try and get this bad boy to float for us. So two ounces. That's one. And there's probably a better pouring method of this, but you know, for now we're just gonna try and Simple. I'm spilling a little bit over the side. That's not great, but that's okay. And there's two. That looks pretty good. Good old dark and stormy there. Now let's go ahead and let's garnish it with a lime wheel. And there we have, actually, no, I'm going to crack it a little bit. Get a little of that lime, more lime juice on the top, too. But there we have our dark and stormy. Nice and simple, like I said, nothing crazy. Let's move on to the Ten Ricky. Ten Ricky might be even easier to make. We are gonna fill our highball glass up as high as we can with ice. And I'm gonna use the last of it here. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna go uh, half an ounce of lime juice this time. Half an ounce, we're gonna pour in the bottom. And then we're going to go two ounces of our gin, gin of choice. One. And two. And then lastly, Top this bad boy off with your soda water. Tonic water, some sort of carbonated flavored water. All the way to the top. Oh, just about perfect. It's nice and clear, got a little color at the bottom. And again, we're gonna go ahead and garnish this off with a lime. Now this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in the top just like that. And there you have your 10 Ricky and your Dark and Stormy. Let's try them. One thing I did forget to do here, and I'll go ahead and do it now. I got a nice little stirring spoon. I'm gonna stir that up just a little bit. All your tonic water's probably sitting on top. There we go. Got a nice lime, got your gin. Now that one I'm not gonna stir because you want it to stay nice and stormy. That's much better, that's beautiful. That's like water with gin in it, essentially. Kind of like a, like a, anytime they do tequila water, whiskey water. It's just, it gives a nice little flavor. It's just a, it's a nice flavor, natural water tasting, but it'll get you drunk. And then your dark and stormy here, it's gonna have a nice kick at the top. Whoo! Yeah, kicks like a mule at the top, and then you kind of just ease into that under the clouds, real nice and pretty. Problem I'm gonna have right now is which one do I finish first? So, give these a try, tell me what you guys think. Let me see other three ingredient recipes you guys can think of that are nice and delicious and easy to make for everybody to try. 
Um, other than that, Bob's up, and I'll see you guys next time.